after all why did we come into this world if our our own place must be a lovely place to live in everybody says real anand real joy real happiness real bliss is only available there in our true home that's where we were living what made it necessary for us to come into this physical world of duality and suffering and pain and pleasure all these things are happening here why did we come here there must be some good reason for this creation to take place and for us to live in state of great bliss to leave that state and come here the answer to this question are very strange first answer is we never left our home the whole experience is taking place there only because our home our true home is total is complete if it is god it's complete if it is truth it's complete if it is such khan it's complete it's total whatever it is if it's consciousness it's total that means there is nothing outside of it if nothing is outside of it then this must also be part of it what has happened is we have not left our home at all we never left it we just left the awareness of it and picked up other awarenesses it's like a dream when we have a dream we think we have gone somewhere we wake up we discover we went nowhere the dream created a space and time where we go same thing is happening here this is like a dream within a dream within a dream within a dream that's what the real nature is of creation and we the mist the methods of meditation we talk of are merely triggering ourselves to wakefulness just triggers for wakefulness to get to higher levels of awareness and when we discover our total awareness we discover we never left our home we left the awareness why did we leave awareness even if we were in a state of happiness and bliss why did we leave that to understand that we can speculate that what is consciousness what makes us aware and makes us conscious of the world or of ourselves if we look at the nature of consciousness we find that consciousness is operating in a way if it is fed with two opposite views it appreciates one of the views better for example we see light here suppose there was no darkness we would not even know if there is light here but when we see darkness and see light we appreciate light the world of duality the world of pairs of opposites generates this conscious experience that you appreciate the word is appreciation you appreciate the positive side more if you have seen the negative side and we have this experience all the time in this life if you have seen something negative then we see the positive we appreciate it more is it possible that we generated a world of pairs of opposites to have an experience a greater appreciation of our own experience of a world with no opposites at all a non dual world which is our true world is being appreciated by us by generating an experience only not generating a real world generating an experience of a dual world when we look at it from that point of view it justifies the creation of this universe as merely a means to greater appreciate our permanent true experience of a true home where we always had the experience we generate an awareness of duality merely to have the experience of the non dual that's a great it's a great ra rationale for saying why the world was created why we are here we are here for the same reason to appreciate there is a book by one of the well known mystics kabir kabir writes a book called anurag sagar ocean of love is a dialogue between him and his disciple of his dharmdas dharmdas asks why were we created 
and he gives in story form. He says it cannot be described, but I'll make it like a story. So when he makes a story of creation, there in that book he says that there are souls who are still living in our true home. And then there are us of, who have come here, who are souls, have come into the experience of duality. And he says, those souls he calls buns. And the souls have come here. When they return, he calls them huns. He says, when the huns who have had experience of creation, when the huns return to the true home, the buns says, you are dancing even more than us. You are rejoicing even more than us. What is special about you? And the Hans says, you don't know what you are missing. That means you do not have an experience by which you can appreciate what you already have. And we can appreciate because we have seen the opposite of it. So there he is explaining the very purpose of this creation, the whole creation. The whole creation is all its forms generates an appreciation for a true home. Nothing else could generate that appreciation.